Hello, and welcome to the Working with Screenshots tutorial on Localize. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics. Screenshots in terms of Localize. Uploading screenshots and setting their options. Tagging keys on the screenshots. Filtering and managing screenshots. Screenshots allow you to provide visual context for translators. Seeing the image, they will be able to understand where and how the translated text will be actually displayed. The screenshot, however, is not just a static image. It may be linked to one or more translation keys. Therefore, when opening a screenshot, you may see areas showing where exactly each key is located. This is called tagging. These areas may be drawn manually or detected automatically by the tagging system. So, in my sample project, I have two keys, Manual Setup and Cancel, which correspond to the two buttons in the mobile application. Press the Screenshots button in the top menu. On this page, you can manage all screenshots of the project. Drag and drop an image here, or simply press the Select a File link and choose a file from your PC. Also make sure that the Try to Find Keys on Images checkbox is ticked. This is a very neat feature that will try to actually find your keys on the uploaded image and link the portions of this image to these keys. Under the hoods, the tagging system will scan the image and try to find text. It will then match the found text against your translations. If the match is found, the key is linked to the portion of the scanned image. There are some limitations to this feature, however. Detection works only for the base language. Supported languages are English, Russian, German, Spanish, Italian, Swedish, Finnish, Turkish, and Polish. The keys should be added prior to uploading a screenshot, and they should have translations for the base language. The text should be clearly visible on the image. If the image has bad quality or the text is unlegible, recognition may fail. Still, later you may tag keys manually on the screenshot. Ok, so our screenshot was uploaded successfully. Note that it says two keys here at the bottom. It means that the automatic key tagging system did its job and found my two keys on this image. Click on the screenshot and take a look at the right side. You may edit the screenshot's title and description here. Add tags if needed, for example, manual. Next, you may save these settings. Download the image back on your PC. Replace this screenshot with a new one, or delete it. Be careful when performing replacement though, because if the new image has different dimensions, all your key taggings will be removed, and you'll need to add them manually. If the image has the same size though, all settings will be left intact. Lastly, there is a keys section which lists all the keys that were tagged on the image. I'm hovering my cursor over the cancel key, and note that the cancel button is highlighted on the screenshot. It means that the tagging system detected the keys area properly and highlighted it for us. Using the buttons next to the keys name, you may open it in a new tab. Manage coordinates. Or unlink the given key from the screenshot. If the tagging system detected the keys area improperly, press on the Edit Coordinates and modify this area as needed. You may also drag a new area on the screenshot and then choose another key to link to. When you are ready, press Save and close this dialog box. Now open the project's dashboard and note that the screenshot was linked to both of my keys. Press on the image and note that the key is tagged properly. Now, translators will be able to see the actual interface they are translating. You may edit the screenshot's settings by pressing the button at the bottom right corner. To filter and manipulate your screenshots, open the Screenshots page again. At the bottom of the page, you may choose how many images are shown per page. From the drop-down at the top, you may select Filtering options. Show everything. Show screenshots with tags that contain any entered value. With tags that contain all entered values with tag equal to the entered value, with tag that is not equal to the entered value, screenshots with tags, without tags, screenshots that have at least one linked key, screenshots that have no linked keys. After applying a filter, you may select one or more screenshots by ticking these checkboxes. Use the checkbox at the top to select everything. Note that a control box appears at the bottom. Here you may choose an action to apply to the selected images. Add or remove tags. Delete screenshots. Select the first option. Enter new tag in the screenshot tags input and press add. The selected screenshots now have a new tag. 
Choose an existing tag and press Remove to delete a tag. You can also manage screenshots by pressing the Screenshots button under the Translation key. Here it shows all the screenshots linked to this key. You may open Screenshot Editor that we've already seen, preview the screenshot, or unlink it from the current key. It is possible to select multiple screenshots by clicking on them. Now at the top right corner, you can see buttons to unlink all selected screenshots or clear selection. Under the Link Existing tab, you may link already uploaded screenshots to the current key. There is a drop down to filter the displayed images that we have already seen. Also, there is a search box. Lastly, in the Upload tab, you may add a new image by dragging it here or choosing it from your PC. If you have at least one uploaded screenshot, a new button called Filter by Screenshots will be displayed under the language flags. After pressing this button, you will see all available screenshots. Select a screenshot to display only the keys that are linked to it. Moreover, you may filter the screenshots themselves using a drop-down that is very similar to the one we have already seen. And this concludes our tutorial. As you can see, screenshots is a very useful feature that is easy to get started. Still, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us and stay with Localize.